Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Aberge, the Daily Trader. It is September 12th, and we are going to take a look at the VIX, Dow Jones, S&P 500, and NASDAQ. So let's start with the VIX. VIX is up a little bit, 108. That's 4.74%, closed at 23.87. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit disappointing because in an ideal world it would go down to 15. But because we had three days where it went straight down, it's reasonable to expect a little bit of a pullback. Let's hope that this support right here that we have at 23.88 is going to stop it. And let's hope that the pullback is uh, coming right away. So then we can have our downward channel to follow for the next couple of days. So it would fit, it would fit perfectly if we had something like this. So maybe this is going to extend until this resistance I just drew. It would not be so bad, but then it would need to come back down to let the stock market continue to go up because today, even though VIX was uh, higher, the stock market was still higher also. Let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, look at this. Look at this uh, great move right here. So Dow Jones is coming up to the resistance. And I cannot make this up. See, the body of the candle is right smack on the resistance. And then this wick extended itself to this other resistance that we had previously drawn at 32.474. The stock is behaving according to these lines. I don't know yet if we are going to cross this or cave in. It's possible that we cave in because we don't have stochastic over 60. We don't have enough force to, to break this resistance convincingly. We could break it, but if we still don't have stochastic over 60, it won't be convincing. It's gonna be like, uh, yeah, I'm doing it, but I could come back down at any point. So uh, that's the only cautious that we need to have so we still need to be cautious we are still in the second downward channel and the first downward channel is this big one here big downward channel second one here and now we are trying to get outside of the second one but we are still in an overall downtrend in the stock market but this is not preventing us from catching waves like this because this is like a surfer the the tide might be receding, but we can still catch a wave that's going towards the beach and we can ride it for a certain while. We cannot ride it for uh, 12 hours because the tide is going to win at some point, but we can ride it temporarily. So uh, the stock market is exactly like that. We have big waves, smaller waves, and even smaller waves within each wave. So. We need to decide when we want to get in and when we want to get out and we can make money in any type of market, even in a downtrend. It just depends on the time frame that we are looking at. So Dow Jones going back up, getting close to the resistance. So it's going to have to make a decision uh, very soon. So I'm talking tomorrow or at least this week. Stochastic is not over 60 yet. And uh, let me guess, S&P 500, I did not guess because I have it in front of me, but S&P 500 has crossed outside its downward channel. So the uh, indices uh, tend to do pretty much the same thing, but they are a basket of basically different stocks. They might have a little bit of a discrepancy. So this is an example that we have right here. So we are breaking 4068 on S&P 500 uh, SPX and uh, we broke this downward resistance so officially we are outside of it but we don't have yet stochastic over 60 so we should not believe that one yet so even though it looks like it's a break it is a break in a sense because we have a candle closed outside of that channel we, we still don't have stochastic so we should not uh, consider this a real break then in terms of Nasdaq, oh, look at this. Nasdaq broke out of this tinier down channel. We are still in this big down channel. So the stock market is still going down broadly. And now we just stopped right smack on this resistance right here. There are no random move in the stock market. It's stopping right there. Why? It could have stopped 
a little bit further, a little bit before, but most of the time it's gonna stop right on the line. But Nasdaq is going to have to make a decision and I think uh, this is going to be heavily influenced by what the VIX is going to do tomorrow. So today I think the VIX going up a little bit was not too bad because it had been because it had gone down so far in the last three trading days so uh, this little bit of a move up did not uh, deter anybody but if we start to go a little bit faster then uh, we might see a little bit of a move back down and then we are going to try to understand if it's just a pullback or if it's a real change in direction Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my TradingView affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.